Hey Falcons, this is Victor Lau with your Falcon Weekly for Friday, November 18th. Hello Wheaton North, I'm Victor Lau and this is the Falcon Weekly for Friday, November 18th. Congratulations to the following art students who were recognized at the Duquesne Conference Art Show competition this past week. Anne Alexander, first place in traditional photography, Emma Drack, second place in drawing, and Irva Patel, second place in sculpture and jewelry. Honorable mentions went to Karsten Hansen, Time Arts, Victoria Crowley, traditional photography, Drew Shukula, digital photography, Melody Abel, digital photography, Audrey Nelson, ceramics and glass, and Kiara Carrillo, painting. Great job, Falcons. Looking for a place other than the commons to start your day? The LLC is open to students every day at 6.30 a.m. except late start Wednesdays. We have comfy seating, games, coloring, a bring your own cake up Keurig machine, and so much more. No sign in or pass needed before school. See you in the LLC, Falcons. Did you miss the TCD field trip and still want to learn about their programs before course selection? There is an open house January 19th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at TCD where you can see which program is the right fit for you. Check out their website for details. Falcons for Him is hosting a speaker night with free Chick-fil-A on November 29th at 2.30 p.m. in the Commons. There will also be a speaker panel night on December 1st at 7 p.m. in the same place. Bring your questions and be ready to receive some answers. Treats will also be provided. The vocational program in room 511 next to the activities office sells 100% soy candles that burn for approximately 10 hours. All the, all the proceeds directly benefit students in our special education program. During any lunch period, you can purchase a candle for $5. Scents include vanilla, harvest, pumpkin, apple, cinnamon, pine, lavender, mango, orange, and lemon. Thank you for supporting our program. And now, here's the Falcon Sports Update. Hey Falcons, this is Karsten Hansen with your sports update. The girls cross country team competed in the state championship meet at Det Wheeler Park in Peoria on November 5th. It was brutal weather filled with rain, mud, and high winds, but the girls ran their best and finished ahead of their seed. This fall, they did a great job representing Wheaton North with pride. Congratulations on a great season, girls. The boys cross country team also ran at the state finals on November 5th. They placed 23rd with Aiden Murphy leading them with a 42nd place finish. Congrats to the boys and all their hard running throughout the season. The Wheaton North Varsity Fortnite team is currently in, play, in first place led by Miles Donovan. The team will compete at state this Saturday. Good luck Falcons! Good luck to our winter sports teams who are getting underway over break. This has been Karsten Hansen with the Sports Update. See you next time Falcons! Our October Northside Pride winners are in. Please congratulate Felicity Burkhart on winning the $25 Chipotle gift card, Aubrey Samuels on winning the $25 Target gift card, and Bridget Hagen for winning the NSP Star Parking Spot. The next drawing will be the first week of December, so bring your NSP cards to the counseling office to select your raffle drawing. Pack the Dream Night for Special Olympics is back on Tuesday, November 29th at 7 p.m. at Hubble Middle School. Come cheer on the district's Special Olympics basketball team and support the Christmas sharing program through a 50-50 raffle. Interested in joining Flock? Come check out one of our events. We will be super fanning for the Special Olympics Pack the Gym Night. We will be sitting with a Tiger crew to cheer on our Flying Tigers. Come check us out and support a great cause. Interested in helping with the Falcon Weekly Holiday Special in December? 
When we get back from break, come to the December monthly meeting for the Falcon Weekly on Thursday, December 1st. We'll be making plans to shoot and edit the specials, so this is a chance to get involved. See you in room 613 after school on December 1st, Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving, Wheaton North. Today we're gonna play a little Thanksgiving trivia to show what our Falcons truly know about our nation's roots. Today I'm joined with... Darby Hogan. And... Ben Newman. Basically, I'm going to ask a multiple choice trivia question. If the players think they know the answer, they are going to... Slam their button and they will get the chance to write the answer down. They can both write the answer down. Now, if Darby gets the question wrong, Ben is going to have the opportunity to steal it from her. And he might. All right, are you guys ready? Question one. Which president made Thanksgiving a permanent national holiday? A, Abraham Lincoln. B, Herbert Hoover. Or C, James K. Polk. Oh. Wow. Okay. Because I can write too. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. What's your answer? Darby will flip it first, okay? All right. Okay, Darby, flip. That is incorrect. Okay. <laughs> My answer okay. is Herbert Hoover. That is also incorrect. What? Question number two. Which state raises the highest number of turkeys? A, oh. North Carolina, B, Minnesota, or C, Arkansas? <laughs> do rock, Should we paper, do it at scissors? the same time? Rock, we okay, yeah, it? Okay. okay. I wrote the same thing. Are you so wrong? Let's do, let's do, you both get, both get it. Both okay. Both. Yes. Can we get it? Um, okay. <laughs> Okay. Don't look at these. Who did that? All right. <laughs> okay, are you ready? What are male turkeys called? A, toms. B, hens. Or C, roosters. Oh, yeah. Darby, please write your answer down. You said male, right? Yes. Okay. One, Shall two, I? three. That is wrong. I'm ready. Okay. Correct! It ding, ding, time. ding! No way. Oh! <laughs> that All is right. the winner. Put it away. Oh, he got it. A I got, bun. I got, a, I got a bun. Thank you, Michael. All right. This question is very near and dear to our hearts as it pertains to our home state, Illinois. Which Thanksgiving pie ingredient is Illinois known for producing? Is it A, cherries, B, pumpkin, or C, apples. That was, was Darby. Oh, oh, oh okay. never mind. Me? Never mind. <laughs> it's me. Okay. You guys can both attempt. Wait, 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 wait. Give me some. Okay, I'm ready. Wait, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay. 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 One, two, three. Oh. You oh. both got it right. Yeah. Oh, they missed. Oh, oh. Okay. What is a baby turkey called? A, a chick, B, a nestling, or C, a poult? I heard no first. Well, mine, okay. Okay, you, I mean, it was delayed. Um, that is correct, man. I was gonna say that. Oh, I got oh. some candy. No, uh-uh. <laughs> no. Oh, you're pushing me over. You don't get any. That was foul play. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, this next question is a hard one, and it's kind of long. What were the three ships that Christopher Columbus sailed to the New World? There are three. The Mayflower, Chrysanthemum, and Santa Maria. Chrysanthemum. <laughs> Chrysanthemum? That's a flower, Ben. Santa Maria, Luna, and Mayflower. Luna. Okay, you guys both got 
the one. Because she, she copied me, though. Santa Maria is correct. What's Mayflower the Mayflower, then? That's the one the Puritans came on. No, so I knew that. I just way. couldn't think of any other boats. Okay, it's the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. Oh my god, that's in Step Brothers. I know. I no. Michael oh my Peter gosh, yesterday. you're right. I was thinking about, like, the Nina, what, there's a the song. Pinta, the Santa Okay, I, I think so I should. should I think that. I should have won because because she copied me and I That's had one more. That's my favorite than movie. Get ready. I think you guys should fight it out. Candy. Ben. <laughs> Thank you to our lovely and gracious winner, Ben Newman. What? Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to beat Darby because she could have never won anyway. And I would like to thank my family and I would like to thank everyone at this, everyone for believing in me. Because I wouldn't, I would have made it this far anyway. But like the extra support just makes it much better. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, Falcons! This has been Victor Lau. Have a great Thanksgiving break, Falcons. <laughs>